So it was a very complicated topic, but the goal was to try to summarize what we know in the evidence regarding the use of hormones such as oral contraceptives, hormone replacement therapy, and anti-hormones such as tamoxifen, and how they might influence risk of breast cancer in women with a BRCA1 or 2 mutation. So this is an important topic because women who inherit mutations in any of these two breast cancer susceptibility genes have very high risks of developing breast and ovarian cancer. And so it's really an important uh, managing act for the clinician and for the patient to try to figure out the best way to mitigate cancer risks, but to also, um, also mitigate any adverse outcomes that come from surgical prevention in these women. So for example, these high-risk populations are strongly advised to remove their ovaries and fallopian tubes well before natural menopause. And so we really need to clarify which hormones are safe for these women to use after oophorectomy, especially for women who have not had a bilateral mastectomy.